growing up, I had this opportunity to see what this idea of progress at any cost could do to a place. From my earliest years, my dad would take me out and we'd watch the salmon swim upstream. Salmon continued to show up until I was about maybe 12 or 13, and then they disappeared. It gave me a great benchmark to work from because I knew what was at stake, and I knew what could happen to a place that was neglected and just kind of brushed aside. That scenario can be applied to anywhere on Earth. No ecosystem is immune or impervious to you know, our collective swing of the axe. The traditional outdoor industry has really focused on climbing the highest peak or hiking the longest distance, but different times call for different heroes. We have these people that have committed themselves to the preservation of these ecosystems and these species. It's their work that is creating and writing the future for these playgrounds that we take for granted. The biggest thing we can do is talk about the people that are championing what it takes to actually speak on behalf of all places. We as an industry, as a collective, care not only about your athletic feats, but also about the deeper purpose, the deeper goal. What can you expose? What story can you tell that will not only protect that climbing route you love, but the landscape that it's in? We need to work together to create this network of stewardship. It's really a team effort. We can't think of it as we only have our backyards at stake. There's a lot more at stake.